we can talk this through? No. Every time I so much as look at a Watterson, something terrible happens to me. <laughs> okay, I take that back. Seems just talking to a Watterson's enough. But don't you think a class action lawsuit is a slighter reaction for repeatedly scaring off your fiance? Every time you guys mess something up, I have to pay for it out of my own wages. Why else do you think I have so many jobs? Hmm, never thought about that before. Look, I'm tired of your attitude, mister. I'm coming in there and we're going to shake hands and make up like adults. Mom, you can't do that! Yes! No, I mean you can't do that because he's got a... <sighs> Restraining order on us. Now, what you do when you arrive in prison is you punch the biggest guy in the room. Then no one... Ow! He said punch the biggest, not the fattest. Sorry. No, it hurts here. And here. Ah, thank goodness your mother's here to bail us out. <sighs> not this time. What? You're in here too? Hold on, that's all right. I'm sure some unforeseen detail that usually gets us off the hook is gonna pop up right now. Want to your free? Yes! To remain silent, otherwise no dinner tonight. <laughs> Where's my happy ending? This is the end, guys. Show's over. What now? I think Gumbo was on to something. Up until now, every bad situation has gotten worse and worse until it's somehow just fixed itself. There's only one solution left. What is it? Everyone take a problem part ways and produce a problem more problematic than a problem of that proportion should probably be. Huh? Just do what you do best. Make things worse. It says here that Mr. Small is suing us. We're giving him claustrophobia. That time we got him stuck in a filing cabinet. I'm sorry, but I don't see any kind of surprise for me inside this... Oh, oh, oh. Sorry! Sorry, Mr. Small! Do you think we made things bad enough? There! Now let's go and post him to the smallest country in the world. <gasps> Kenneth! The gross jaw creature! Are you sure this is a good idea? Yep, this is exactly what we need. Hi, Mrs. Watterson. Did you come to give us the money you owe us? Uh, no. I just need you to give your mom a message. Tell your mom that she's so short she needs shoes for her chin. Uh, also, tell your mom she's so fat that her high school photo was a double-page spread. And finally, tell your mom that she has so many warts that her face smells ugly in Braille. It's pretty bad! <gasps> He's eating everyone in the bus! And the bus! <gasps> Forget why I'm running after you! <sighs> well, I think we pretty much ticked off the whole town! They dropped our baby! They blew up my head! They ran me over! 